Hi, it's Sarah Taylor. Thanks for being here. So I'm going to show you a test canvas here. This is the last test that I'm doing before I'm going on to this gigantic canvas. Um, and you've probably, if you've been following me recently, you've noticed a real trend. I'm working with this translucent base coat. And this is the translucent pearl base coat. I'll put some links in the description to videos that go further in depth about the translucent base coat in particular. Um, and then basically I'm using all those other beautiful colors that I showed you in the beginning and they are also base coat colors. So uh, this is a nice little um, deep canvas that I'm working on. And yeah, so I've been experimenting with this a lot and I'm kind of, you know, kind of the concept here was to have a pearl painting have sort of a similar aesthetic to a bloom painting um, because I really wanted to expand this out and blow it up onto a huge format. And I've really struggled getting the, the bloom technique onto a larger scale. So I'm putting down, that's the indigo and the Prussian, or the Prussian blue paints gray and the quinacridone nicolase of gold. That's the India yellow by Triart. And you know, just kind of continuing this exploration of using all base coat. This is so these are all base coat colors. They contain an untinted satin enamel, which is um it's bear bear brand by Home Depot. 7300 is what I'm using. Um, also I'll put recipe links in the in the description. And I'm just gonna let you watch this portion of the video. This is my last test before I went on to the 48 by 72 inch canvas. And I almost didn't show this, um, the big the big canvas, because it was a fail. Um, and this happens, you know, with fluid art, how it translates onto different sizes of substrate or canvas, it really is can be highly unpredictable. Um, and sometimes it takes some trial and error, and it takes a couple times to figure out how the paint's going to move and how you need to work with it on such a large surface. So I'll come back and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit um, as well on the failed painting. Uh, it's the largest canvas I've ever had to scrape. So just so you know, that's the gold and the black cell act, or not cell activator, but gold and black puddle paint that I'm, and instead of sort of spreading it over the top of the paint with a tool, I just kind of tilted it around the way I usually do with a pearl painting. So. If you have any questions, let me know. I know this is kind of a convoluted, you know, kind of taking two concepts and sort of melding them together or trying to. And uh, I'll come back and talk to you about the large canvas. And I thought this would be a great learning experience or teaching moment because, uh, you know, you, sometimes you can't learn how to do it right until you do it wrong. Um, and I want to explain to you what happened with the large canvas. So. I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to put some music on and we'll come back when I go onto that big, that big canvas. All right. Hey, at least I'm breathing. I know it took a while. Been looking for a sweet song. A sign of spring Waiting for a reason to laugh, to sing Cause I've been spending all my time to figure out just how Goes up, finally 
Okay, so here's the 72 by 48 inch canvas and I'm putting a really thin layer of translucent base coat on. And I did put those corner protectors or the corner cardboard on just to sort of save a little paint in an effort to at least. And just spreading it really, really thin. I'm gonna speed this up quite a bit. Um, and yeah, I thought I would just show you this because there's some things hopefully to be learned from a, you know, a fail. Um, this is by far the largest canvas I've ever had to actually scrape the paint off of. So, you know, I try not to take it too seriously. Um, those moments where it doesn't work out, especially on something big like this can be a little demoralized. <laughs> so, you know, I try not to let it get to me and it's just paint. Um, most of it's pouring medium. So, uh, ultimately these things happen and you just have to kind of move forward and learn from the mistake. And the idea here, you know, I've been doing this a lot on small canvas, so I have this, you know, it doesn't always translate. And sometimes the concepts that you're achieving and that you're successful with on a small canvas does not necessarily work out on something much, much larger. Uh, systematically moving up in size can be really helpful. So I'm taking the base coat, that's that indigo, and I'm kind of trying to hold some negative space in this painting. I have a very strong vision of the composition that I want. Um, and, you know, a little bit of this kind of dusty rose pink. I had to actually stand up on the table to get the paint where I wanted it. This was um, a little difficult. And then the magenta. And these are all the same colors that I used in that little test piece that I showed you at the beginning of this video. Actually, that was burgundy triart liquid and then magenta. And then that's the manganese blue by Soho and India yellow by triart liquid. And those triart liquids are actually on sale, I think, starting today at Fluid Art Co. So, okay, so now tilting out the base coats on top of the translucent base coat. And I could already tell like, oh, you know, I'm not getting as much negative space as maybe I wanted. Um, the colors are kind of blending together a bit more than I would like. Like it's just getting a little bit more muted than what I was going for. And it's just because it's so big, you know, I just had to, you have to tilt, they have to move the paint so much on a canvas this large. And it's okay now. I should have probably just taken something and spread that black puddle paint as a cell activator over the top of, of this design. I think I probably would have been happier with it. Oh, I have a little visitor in the room. <laughs> it's my daughter. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's always a process. Um, and but what I ended up doing is I took I'm going to take the black and the gold puddle paints and that's the gold that's modern masters rich gold. Oh, still needed to get some way to paint off. And I think part of the problem I just had too much paint on here. I needed to get more off. You know, you don't want if there's too much on a big canvas like this, it's going to really pool in the middle and start to puddle in the middle and you could already see it doing that. I mean, there's just so much weight of paint that it's really, I mean, there's a center um, stabilizer on this canvas and I think the canvas was actually bowing down and touching that support. So it was just too much weight, um, too much paint. I think everything just ultimately needs to go even thinner when you're going this big. And the black and the gold, I'm trying to spread over the different sections of color and as you can see, it's just a mess. Um, <laughs> I was like, I don't even know what to do with this from here. There's no negative space. I mean, it's not even really purling that much because the color, the paint just kind of mixed together too much. Um, but ultimately, I had to do this in order to kind of knock this idea out and figure out if this was going to work this way on something this large. So. Every experience is a good experience when you're putting paint on 
on a canvas, in my opinion, you know, even if it's not a success, you're going to learn. And I, you know, I'm getting some pretty pearls down that one section a little bit, but ultimately I, you know, this is a nice canvas. I'm like, I don't want to let this dry. Um, <laughs> it was like one of those moments, like, did I, and there it goes. I just scraped it all off. And I did save quite a lot of this paint for, um, you know, I can use it as another base coat. There's all sorts of things I use the leftover paint for. You can tint other base coats with the leftover paint. You know, there's no oil, there's no uh, silicone, there's nothing like that. In the, it's all the kind of the same ingredients. So what you scrape off here kind of just becomes um, maybe like a watered down base coat. It might need more satin enamel. Anyways, I just really wanted to show you this because, I don't know, um, if you're thinking of going on a canvas this big, maybe it'll help with some of the pitfalls. And I'm going to come at you next week with the successful painting. I did achieve what I was going for, um, in a, and I used just a different way of going about it, and it ended up working out really well. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know what you think, like what could have gone better? What what do you think would make, uh, you know, something like this more successful in such a large piece? Um, I'd love to hear some feedback. All right, you guys, much love and happy new year. Uh, stay tuned for successful painting. All right, talk soon. Bye.